Okay, welcome back. We are looking at Doge Chain. And well, what do you know? We actually ended up going past where we even suspected from. So we were saying fallen wedge or flag potentially. And then the measure move for the flag, that didn't even get us up to where we ended up shooting up to. They got us up to our white box right on over here. Which you can see at first it actually was acting as a slight resistance from last video in which we talked about yesterday. Um, this ended up playing out, I'd say, pretty successfully if you were trading it at all. But um, you can see at first it was acting as a pretty decent resistance area. And then we ended up breaking through it, which we are on the 45 minute time frame, by the way. And then now you can see that we did end up come back down into it, at least as of right now. So I would say you actually do potentially stand a chance of pushing on back up and turning it into a support. However, if we were to keep in mind what happened over here, what we could see end up happening is that X is like a short term um, support and then we ultimately end up breaking through it just to come back down. If we were to come back down, where would we be necessarily looking for? I would say really one of two areas which are relatively close to each other, but one of them being, which by the way, we can get rid of this stuff. One of them being just pretty much these prior highs right here. Nothing too crazy. So that is at about three zeros, 57.5. And then the other area would be actually the, this prior like range area on over here. So if I can zoom out a bit, just to bring it on over which this is at about 59 or three zeros, five, nine, seven. So right here, oh, oopsies. I gotta get used to this new mouse. The scroll wheel is uh, inverted compared to my last one. So now that we see this on, why did I have to be a jerk off? Bring it so far away, there we are. So that being said, that's what we'd be looking for for downside to play out. I'd be looking for around three zeros, five, nine, seven, and then I'd be looking for around three zeros, five, seven, five, um, if we don't break through here. So that being said, should we look for more upside from this point on? Oh, why of course, let's go into the four hour time frame and see what we can see here. Now, like we said, we would want to be cautious of this area on over here at 8060 or no three zeros eight zero six as that was your major support level we could ultimately end up seeing that flip into a resistance or a like supply area which if that is indeed the case then that's where you're not getting rejected from otherwise this does overall look like doge chains bottom which is pretty good to see so that being said you could ultimately end up getting up to it potentially getting smacked down and then make higher low and then continue pushing higher is always in the cards. But um, at least for right now, we have nothing necessarily to say that will 100 bean percent happen. And then finally, the last thing that I do want to mention right now is that you can see that this downtrend right here, we actually did end up breaking out of it. You can see we clearly are. If I can get it right. It looks about right, just like it did. Um, oh no, one second, I'm messing this up completely. All right, there you go. You can see that we did end up breaking through it. So ultimately, not too bad. Uh, right now, I'd say potentially look for downside or be prepared for downside, but overall still look for upside at least up to 80. So other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. None of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.